to our channel we bought a boat this channel is going to be predominantly about our journey as complete sailing novices um, through to what we hope competent cruisers um, as many of you have we've watched hundreds of hours of YouTube videos of different channels um, watching people's experiences um, but what we came to found was there wasn't many channels out there um, for people like us complete beginners um, and when I say complete beginners we've never sailed before as a family um, we've been on some chartered boat trips on holiday but we've never physically sailed a boat um, on our own um, so this is our journey um, we'd like you to come along with us we're going to try and make it as helpful and informative as possible we're going to run you through the process of buying a boat things you should consider um, or think about things we had to think about things we've learned lessons we've learned um, through to the training um, which we've already started um, and, and then basically from there on um, at the moment it's January the 4th it's quite cold I'm on our boat so obviously we have bought a boat um, I'll take you for a tour round a bit later um, but yes welcome um, there's going to be more episodes to follow at the moment as I said it's January so we're not planning on getting the boat back in the water until probably end of Feb early March if not maybe a bit later um, we're going to start off very slow um, we're going to start off with just some days trips some weekend trips um, but that's all after um, we become qualified to do it so at present um, me and my sister who I introed earlier in the video um, have done our competent crew courses we still have to do our skipper courses our day skipper courses um, so we're gonna make some episodes along those lines I'm gonna put some clips in later of, of us doing our competent crew um, but welcome and I, and I hope you enjoy the content now the tour of the boat um, so I'm going to show you around um, the interior first so this is the main saloon area um, which folds down into a nice double bed um, and a single berth the opposite side we have a quarter berth over here um, but we're not actually using it as a quarter berth it's more storage for bits and bobs pillows um, cockpit seat covers and, and whatnot charts and things like that um, the galley um, which has a gimbal stove, a sink. Um, we're very lucky with this boat, which I'll go into more detail later with the features and why we picked it. Um, but we do have um, pressured hot and cold water um, and we have central heating as well. Um, I'll take you through to the toilet, which is also a shower. Um, and I'll also show you the V-berth, which is a bit of a mess at the moment. Um, but she's a Snapdragon 890 and she's 29 feet long. Um, we currently have her on a stand at Benfleet Yacht Club, which we've become members of. Again, I'll go into more details about how we pick this place later. Um, and I will now take you up to show you some exterior shots of the boat. So again, as I mentioned earlier, um, the purpose of this channel is to um, share our journey of, of being complete sailing novices to buying our first boat, learning to sail, taking her out, um, what what things we found difficult, what things we found easy, um, the help. Um, we've already had some tremendous help from a, from a guy we're next to on the hard, if you like. Um, on the stand next door, his name's Ian. He's been incredibly helpful. He's going to be taking us out, so I'm sure he'll be in some later episodes as well. Um, but I really wanted to share it. So diving straight in, um, buying a boat. It really comes down to personal preference when you're buying a boat. Um, you've got to consider your budget. You need to eke out about £2,000 of that budget that's not going to go on actually buying the boat um, so what I mean by that is there are additional costs after you obviously purchase the boat you need somewhere to keep the boat um, you'll probably inevitably have some things to do um, so for instance if you buy a boat like I did at the end of the season um, 
not only did I have to find a place to have it out of the water, um, but I had to get the engine winterized, which was something I didn't know about before. Um, it's not terribly expensive, but it's a couple of hundred quid to have an engineer come in and winterize it for you. Um, you need to get some uh, obs and sods jobs done around the boat, um, clean the hull, for instance. Um, this boat is copper coated, um, so lucky for me, all I've had to do so far is, is jet wash it and clean it off and uh, and it's all ready to go for next season but if you don't have a copper coated boat you're going to need to think about anti-fouling um, which I don't know a huge amount about but you know there's a cost there to it um, and then obviously your your mooring fees um, so we picked Benfleet Yacht Club because of a it's location it's it's 25 to well 25 it's, it's 40 to 45 minutes away from my house depending on traffic um, it's very well priced very reasonable um, we're on the east coast obviously so um, things are a little bit cheaper here but we looked at the south coast and there was no possible way after buying a boat that we could afford to keep it on the out on the south coast we'd love to but it's just too expensive out of our reach at the moment um, but you know the best thing I can recommend is have a good look around and uh, call as many marines as you can and uh, and get some quotes. As regards to buying the boats, I think again it's it's going to be down to what you want to do with it, how many people you plan to have on it, where you're going to sail it. Um, we went with a bilge kill, um, which is two kills, which means the boat can sit on its kills if the tide goes out, for instance, for that very reason, in that most of English... Um, East Coast sailing is is uh, on the tides, so um, we can technically, if the tide, if we get caught out in the tide and the tide goes out, we can technically sit on the ground, which is a great thing, which is the reason we went for a bilge kill. Um, but you need to consider all these things, and you will never get a consensus opinion from anybody in the sailing world. So that's that's something I've learned over the last few months is. There's no consensus. Everybody has a different opinion, and it really comes down to personal preference. And if you make a decision and it turns out to be the wrong one, unfortunately, you will just have to live with that decision. Um, but yeah, think about it. View as many boats as you can. There's thousands out there on websites, um, various different websites, Facebook. Go and see some boats. Um, we went and saw probably four or five boats um, before we viewed this one, um, we were lucky when we viewed this one that we knew almost instantly that we, we were interested. Uh, but as soon as we left the visit, we decided within 100 metres of walking away that we wanted to make an offer on it. Um, and we got it. Other things you need to consider, um, your sailing ability. If you know how to sail, great. If you don't, then I would highly recommend taking a course or two. Um, my route has been competent crew, which I've already done. I'm then going to do my day skipper theory and my day skipper practical. Um, for the day skipper theory, I'm going to go with Arden, uh, which does seem to be a consensus that they're very good, and I know a few people that have done it and are doing it at present. Um, and for the physical practical um, exam, which is five days, I'm going to go with solo boat training. I can highly recommend solo boat training. They were very good for our competent crew course I really enjoyed the five-day trip um, down in Southampton Portsmouth area um, you leave um, on a Monday morning and um, I believe you can do split where you start halfway through the week and you do a couple of days the following week I decided to go for the whole week Monday to Friday um, we left Monday morning um, there's some shots I'm gonna overlay to this that you can see us coming out of uh, Southampton we did the first day just going up and down the Solent, um, just some, some basic sailing manoeuvres, steering, um, following boy tracks and things like that out, learning some basics, how to tack, how to jibe, um, and then we sailed across the cows and, and spent the night in the cows marina, which was beautiful, um, had a really great time there. Um, through the course, you do a lot of repetitive things, so you do a lot of jibing, a lot of tacking, you do man overboard drills, um, you do various techniques to heave to, we did a bit of anchoring, um, but the part that I found most useful from the competent crew was actually the boat manoeuvring, so manoeuvring the boat around the marina, um, and there's a few shots here of, of me doing that, or us doing that, the crew. 
Um, there was four of us on the boat, so it was very comfortable, plus instructors, so five in total. Um, I opted for a cabin. Um, there are three cabins available on the boat, and then the fourth person gets the, um, or the fourth and fifth person get the saloon. So much like this, uh, on there it's two singles, but on here it's a double and a single, but yes. Um, but it was very comfortable, I had a really great time, um, and I learned a lot. I'm going to show you a few clips now of us picking up the boat after we bought it. So um, to let you know, when we bought the boat, it was absolutely an Ipswich. Um, and we had to bring it back from Wolverston Marina. And we had to motor it all the way back to Benfleet. Um, it was in October when we did this. The old owner was, was there with us and obviously, you know, showed us what's what and how to do it. And he planned the trip. Um, it was quite an adventure. Um, as I said, we had to motor because we had wind against us the whole trip. Um, but what actually happened was we actually left a bit late. Um, we were supposed to be coming into kind of Leon C and Benfleet at around five o'clock for high water, and we missed that drastically. Um, coming past South End Pier in the dark, as you can see here, it was about 7.30 and we still had you know, a couple of miles to go. And we actually ran aground. Um, which was fine because we ended up spending a lovely night on the boat with the old owners and um, there was plenty of food and it was very warm and comfortable. Um, but it taught me very quickly that even a sailor with 50 years experience of sailing this boat, it can go wrong very quickly. So I can't emphasize enough on making sure you're confident or having someone with you um, before you take your boat out. Um, harping back to what I was saying about hundreds of hours of YouTube videos that I've watched is that I do believe there's a lot of fakers out there who claim to be complete novices and within six months they're sailing across the Bay of Biscay to Tenerife and over to the Bahamas and I struggle to believe that's true. Um, from what I've experienced so far I wouldn't even contemplate trying something like that if my boat was big enough which I don't think this one is to go across the Atlantic but certainly we could technically sail this across to France or Spain I would imagine but I wouldn't even attempt to do anything like that for the first few years. There is a lot to learn um, it's not difficult, but you've got to think safety. And, and I have three children, as you saw at the beginning of the video, and I'm not considering taking them on this boat um, on my own until I am confident that I can get this boat in and out of this um, yacht club estuary, which I'll show you later with the drone footage. Um, and, you know, competent, I know how to sail, I know my emergency procedures, and, you know, I know that I can be safe, a safe skipper. So um, that's the biggest bit of advice I can give you is, is confidence. Make sure you're competent, make sure you're confident, make sure you know what you're doing because it, it, it is tricky. And this is England um, and our waters are renowned for being quite treacherous at times. So um, get qualified, make, that's my biggest, um, the biggest thing I can say that I've learned in the last six months is make sure you are confident before you take anybody out on your boat or you take yourself out on your boat because the sea's not forgiving um, and things can go wrong. So a few shots now, as I said, of the exterior of the boat and the yacht club. Um, it's quite a nice morning, although it's very cold. Um, it's about four degrees outside, as I said, it's January. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this introductory video. Um, I'm off sailing this weekend um, with a a group of guys that are trying to do their yacht master qualification and they've kindly invited me along um, for the weekend so I'm leaving on Friday night and we're setting off from Southampton on Saturday um, and sailing over to Yarmouth um, into a marina overnight and then back again so I will certainly get some shots of that um, and that will be I think probably most of the next episode is me on that trip and then the next episode will be us going in the water um, so I look forward to seeing you again um, please pop any questions in the comments and I'm happy to answer them see you next time